Well, good morning or good afternoon, perhaps even good evening, depending on uh, what time of day it is that uh, you happen to be watching this uh, presentation. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna I've re I'm gonna re-record this right now because last time I did it, apparently I did it and I forgot to share the actual screen. So nobody can see the slides. Um, all right, so I'm gonna redo this and this time, guys will be able to see the slides, I hope. All right, so um, my name is Jason Rodriguez and I am with Invita Financial Network. Uh, you can see, or you should be able to see here the picture with the door open where it says your future starts here. All right, so I wanna jump into um, who it is that we hire. So chances are that if you are watching this uh, particular presentation right now, then uh, the reason that you are watching this is that you and I have already spoken and we've done a quick uh, phone interview and uh, you've decided and I've decided to, to give you an opportunity at least to uh, move forward in the process and uh, get more information about Invita and uh, potentially we're gonna work together. So I wanna share with you um, who it is that we are looking to work with. And so, who do we hire? Number one is I've got dreamers here. Uh, we are looking for dreamers. And here's what I mean when I say this. Uh, when I talk about dreamers, I think back to actually just this last weekend when my kids were here with me. Um, they sat down with me and we were chatting about their future. And I was talking with them and sharing with them and asking them, guys, what is it that you think about when you think about your future and what you want to be when you grow up? Do you know either of you? Do you know what it is you want to do when you grow up? And both of my kids are both in high school, getting ready to go into college. Uh, neither one of them had a real clear idea on what it was that they wanted to do, which makes it difficult and challenging when they go to college to know exactly which area of study would be best, right? So um, so I said, okay, well, not a problem. Let's look at this in a different way. I said, let's, let's think about, let's think about the life that you want to live. Explain to me and, and draw me or write me, describe for me a picture of your life at 30 years old. Now I'm talking to 15, 16 year old kids. Um, so as you relate this to, to you, I want you to look forward 10, 15 years down the road and, and ask yourself, what is what do I want my life to look like in the future? What is the life that I want to create for myself in the future? What lifestyle do I want to have? And, and that's what I shared with my kids. Is, and I, I asked them a series of questions about, you know, where do you want to live? Uh, what kind of home do you want to live in? Do you want to live in a little home? Do you want to live in a big home? Do you want to live in a new home, an old home? Um, you know, one of them like uh, older houses with lots of character. Another one's like, no, I want a brand new place right on the beach. Like, okay. So, uh, you know, do you want to live in the mountains? Do you want to live by the beach? Do you want to live um, in the middle of the country? Or, uh, you know, where, where do you want to live? Do you want to live somewhere where you get all four seasons or uh, where it's just dry all year, you know, I mean, wh where do you want to live? What, where do you want to live? What's the life that you want to have? We talked about what kind of car do you want to drive? Um, again, I've got one kid that uh, is like, you know, I, I really don't care. I, I'll drive old clunker. Doesn't, doesn't matter to me. My other kid was like, no, I want, I want something nice. As a matter of fact, I want a couple of cars. <laughs> so I got a kick out of that. Just they're very different. But um, th this is, a, it's a good exercise. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but this is a good exercise for you to do and, and just kind of play around with yourself in picture, imagine, draw out, write out your ideal life. What would your ideal life look like? If you could fast forward five years, what would your ideal life look like? What would an ideal day be like? You'd wake up, what would you do? Where would you go? Who would you spend time with? What would your ideal every day, not a, not a special day, but an every day, this is your life, every day, normal day, typical day, what would that look like? 
Would you have control of your time, right? Would you report to a boss? Would you work for yourself? Um, would you be able to control your schedule? Uh, would you be able to control your income and still control your schedule? Would you be able to work the amount of hours that you want to work and still create the income that you need to create? And how would you do that? Um, so that I think is an important exercise to have. So anyway, dreamers, that's that's who I'm looking for is, is, is people that can imagine a life that is something more than what they have today, right? Something more than what they have today. Well, also, we're going to be looking for people that are hard workers, because quite frankly, you are not going to create something of value if you're not willing to work for it. If you're not willing to work hard for it, if you're not willing to put in long hours, work hard, right? Get up early, work late. If you're not willing to put in the time and energy and focus to make that dream come true, you will not have success. If you are lazy, you will not have success. If you are accustomed and used to going to a job every day, working eight hours, and, and it's hour seven and a half, you're like, dude, I'm ready to clock out and get out of here. Now, I get it. Going to a job sucks sometimes. But I'm looking, we're looking for hard workers because in, in this business, you are going to essentially be working for yourself, okay? I, I, I will be working with you, but I am not going to be I'm not going to be your boss. I am not going to be um, making you do anything. If, if you cannot get yourself up out of bed in the morning, get yourself dressed, get yourself in front of your computer and on the phone and, and making calls and setting appointments and running, you know, running illustrations and, and doing the, the activities that you need to do to be a successful uh, insurance agent. If you can't do that on your own, you will not have success in this industry, okay? So just know that about yourself and be honest with yourself. If this isn't right for you, then it's not right for you. But if you're a dreamer and you're a hard worker, then the next question is, is are you committed? And, and what I mean by committed is, friend, this is not going to happen overnight. You are not going to wake up tomorrow with, $40,000 in your bank account because you um, decided to start selling insurance, okay? Now, that is not to say that you can't make $30,000, $40,000 in a month. Uh, you certainly can. People do. But um, I, I think to be realistic, uh, you know, again, look at who you are, what you do. You know, if you're an experienced salesperson, um, even, you know, coming from a different industry, even that that's, that's great. You got to lay up on, on, on some other people. Um, you, you may be able to come in and just, you know, learn the, learn the products and really, really start really strong and do really, really well coming out the gate. But for, for other people, you got to learn the product. You got to develop your sales skills. Some people have to develop their people skills, right? They, they don't even know how to talk to people. So um, again, it just depends on where you are, who you are in your, your professional and personal development. So uh, are, are you committed? And then the last thing is, uh, this word is integrity. Uh, integrity is important to me. Uh, I feel that I am a person of integrity and I am looking to work really only with people who also um, have integrity because I, I want you, I want to work with people that if you say you're going to do something, you, you do it. If I, I need to be able to trust you, right? Your clients need to be able to trust you. You need to, you need to be a kind, the kind of person that is going to do the right thing, the right thing for the client. We're in a business that um, is a service business we're here to serve. We're here to serve our clients. Don't, if you, if you come into this thinking about what can I get out of it for me, um, as opposed to how many people can I help today? Um, you know, you, you, you just need to be a person of integrity. You need to be a person of integrity. And um, that's what we're, that's what we're looking for. So I'll go on to the next one. What, what is our mission here at Invita Financial Network? 
well, it goes back to kind of that first that first thing that I was talking about in terms of dreams. My my job is to hopefully help you learn how to live the life that you desire, to be able to achieve the income that you need to live the life that you imagine, to live the life that you picture in, in your dreams, right? And so whatever that is, I mean, for every, everybody's different. Some people got little dreams. Some people got big dreams. Some people come here and um, they're looking for a part-time position. Uh, and this is important. Uh, they're looking for a part-time position because they need to make an extra $500 because that extra $500 will help them pay their mortgage or will help them pay a car payment. All right. Now, I mean, if you got a $500 car payment, then, um, no. Anyway, uh, so my job is to teach people how to live the life that they desire. Okay, so that's what that's what my commitment is uh, to you. Okay, also, who are we? And uh, this is a picture of our leadership team here from left to right. You can see Tim Sparkman, Amy Early, uh, Rich Rossi, and Philip Hudgens, who's the founder, uh, CEO, founder of the company Invita. We are a privately owned company founded in 2015. Got, uh, you can tell there with all that gray hair uh, and baldness, uh, over 100 years of industry experience. And then there's also a proven sales system. Uh, that gentleman there on the right uh, created an incredible sales system that not only does Invita use, but uh, many companies within our industry uh, have uh, uh, knocked off or stolen his uh, sales system and use that. So he, he is a legend in the industry. You can Google him and uh, find some more information on uh, Philip Hudgens. Uh, and then also this is a ground floor opportunity. I, I see that because having been founded in 2015, uh, we are past the startup phase, right? We're no longer a, a startup. I, I don't feel like it. I uh, think, think we're past that. And we're to a point now where those those systems are in place, where things are really um, moving along a lot smoother, right? Things are smooth now. Whereas when I first started uh, with the company, uh, the, these systems, you know, were uh, they were pretty rough. So uh, things are a lot better, but it's still very much a ground floor opportunity, very very early on, and uh, now is definitely a great time to get started. Um, Speaking of getting started in this industry, let's talk a little bit about a different industry. I personally have come out of the uh, the home building industry. Uh, I have worked for six of uh, the top 10 home builders in the United States and uh, spent the last uh, you know over 15 years, between 15, 20 years working in the home building industry. And uh, it's been, both an exhilarating experience. Uh, there's been ups, and then obviously there's been downs. Um, but that that was a huge, huge industry that I came out of. Um, you know, Fortune 500 companies that I worked with, um, big, big, big companies, right? As a matter of fact, put it in perspective, $95 billion um, in, in revenues in the U.S. home building industry in, in 2019. So how does that compare to, to insurance? How does that compare to what, what I'm doing now in, in life insurance? Oh, look at there. $6.3 trillion in assets. $6.3 trillion, that's a T, in assets. And then $638 billion in annual premiums. Um, those are huge numbers. Huge numbers. Let me go back to that one. 95 billion. That's a big number, right? We're talking trillions of dollars here. So the, the life insurance industry is solid. Very, very solid. Very, very solid. And this is this is where the money's at. So if you want to make money, this this is where you want to be. These are number of the companies that we work with. If you look at these companies, look them up, you'll find that they are all A rated, A plus rated, A minus rated. They're all A rated. Um, some of the top companies within the industry uh, that we work with. Now, I often tell people that we've got um, 
a number of different divisions that you could be a part of, different uh, places that uh, you could plug into within the company. I uh, won't go into great detail with these, but in our follow-up call, uh, if you are interested, we could talk about specifically where you potentially can plug in. Um, but th these are the different divisions that we have within our um, within our company. So uh, not everybody has to do the same thing. There's different opportunities within our company that you can take advantage of from, um, you know, just working with friends and families and running leads to um, our advanced markets doing, uh, you know, IULs and uh, annuities, business to business, you know, getting out there, knocking on doors, talking to business owners, uh, creating solutions for business owners. And of course, there's the uh, over 65, uh, 65 and over group um, that, uh, you know, each year needs uh, Medicare supplements. So uh, there's that. And then the educators retirement. So 403B platform, financial literacy um, seminars uh, that we do, financial seminars. So just lots of opportunities within the company. And we can talk more detail um, on our one-on-one -on -one call about those in terms of where you can fit in. But let's get to the part about how you actually make money, okay? So let's just say that you go out, you're sitting in the home, you write a policy uh, for someone for a $200 policy. So $200 a month policy, uh, that is going to uh, start you, sorry, everybody starts at a 60% contract level. So that $200 check that you pick up over 12 months is going to earn you a commission of $14. $140. So that's what that's going to, to pay you. Um, so if you do one to two sales a week, and you can you can play the, you can do the math, right? and again, that's 60%. So what you do is you take that $200, multiply it by 12 months. Uh, I think that's 2,400. And then <clears throat> uh, multiply that by 60%, and then that gives you the 1,440. So you do that one to two times a week, six sales per month, and that will give you a monthly income of $8,600 or a six-figure income for the year annualized at uh, $103,000. That's part-time. That's part-time. That's taking it easy, right? Go out on a weekend and do one to two sales. Now, on a uh, full-time full -time agent, five sales, let's say five sales a week, 20 sales per month. $28,000 income. Okay, remember I talked uh, at the beginning about making $40,000. You're not going to make $40,000 necessarily in your first month, but uh, there, there is definitely the opportunity uh, to work your way up to that. You could have an annual income here if you're a full time agent, upwards of $345,000 annual income. Now that is if you are a person that likes to sell, not everybody loves selling. So what other people can do is they can build a team. So you can decide, you know what, rather than, rather than just focus on selling, um, you can actually build a team. You can go out and hire people and build an agency. Those people that you bring in and hire, they go out, they sell as well as yourself. and uh, you're going to get an override. So let, let's take a look at how that works. So personal production, you got 14 sales, let's say, and you're at uh, an 85% contract at this point because of the volume of sales that you've done. So you've promoted yourself you're up to an 85% contract. You're making that 28,000 a month. You've built a team. You've hired, you know, four people in this particular scenario. Now, th these numbers are just examples. You may have 10 people, um, you know, you, you may have 15 people on the team. It, it doesn't matter. But if four four people, 14 sales each, at a 25% override, it's going to give you an additional $33,000 of monthly income. And that's going to take you there up to the uh, $745,000 on the annual basis. And that's building a team. So that $33,000 is uh, money that you made in, in a passive sense, right? You didn't go out and work for that. That's just passive income that's coming in because of your team doing the work. All right, that was the last slide, or this is the last slide, but next steps, one-on-one uh, -on -one interview. So go ahead and reach out to me, either using the link that you got in your email, or you can call me directly if you got my number. 
Um, if hired, we'll uh, talk about the complete, uh, how to complete the six steps. That's something that we do. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the division that is going to best suit you, how to fit you into the company in the very best way to get you started off strong. So if you got questions and, um, you know, or you're just ready to go ahead and get started, then uh, reach out to me and let's have a conversation and, and talk and uh, stop this. So that is uh, that is it for today. All right. Well, thank you very much.